and welcome. Here we are in storage. Probably close this door just in case. They're fond of making monsters spawn right as you pick up something good, like oil or tinderboxes, but usually more like plot relevant items. As far as I'm concerned, like like that. As far as I'm concerned, oil and uh, tinderboxes are very plot relevant because they are the one thing that keeps me going through the plot. Boxes. Any more oil? That would be very nice, but very unlikely as well. What? Oh. Put these out of the way. <sighs> Alright. What makes me think that as soon as I pick this up, something bad is going to happen? Here I go. Come on. Okay. Just in case. I want to be prepared to run back on. in the corner now. Always. If anything good, instant run. I do not know what I'm doing exactly, but I will keep doing it anyhow. Make a little barricade. Wow, by the time I finish making my barricade, I'm pretty sure that thing was gone. Yep, it's gone. Yay. Move. At least the monster encounters seem to be pretty short-lived. Alright, so that should be it. Now again, I'll be honest with you, I have seen this playthrough before, so I do have some idea of what to do now. I think that monster in the cell that I told you not to open will be gone now. I'll see if the door's open. Ah, yes. Reminds me of that time in uh, the other storage, where the monster that was back uh, in in that other door uh, disappeared after you go after you grab those uh, parts, the, the rods. Oh, foil, nice, and a tinderbox, also nice. All right, uh, off to the kitchen now, I think. Well, that's nice, Daniel Stew. doing on oil. I'm really burning it up. But at least my sanity is not bad. I don't know where I'm going. Don't you stop it. Stop making this mess. I wonder if you can tell just from my vocal inflections how much more tense I am right now. I can hear it in my own, but I'm me. Ah, there it is. The nightmares Keep woke me in the early pause. morning, and for a moment I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within, and if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers, and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this, as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb, and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me. And he answered that things can be done, but at a price. Okay. That seems to contradict 
I mean, I'm, I'm not saying Daniel's lying, but I think he will. Oh no! That seems to contradict what Agrippa, I think, wrote. Uh, saying that once the shadow had the orb, it stopped chasing him. Oh, come on, it's not that dark. Go away. That's probably a really bad idea. I shouldn't do it. Hanging out with dead pigs. It's in the room. I hope I don't end up like the dead pigs. Go away! I lose a sanity level because of you. Curse you. Yep, just did. Thank you. Activate the sound on the on this headset rather than just relying on the speakers. All right, I think it's gone. Well, there we go. Ooh, laudanum. All these jars keep making me think there's oil. Maybe there is oil. This doesn't seem like a place for it. I would have seen it if it was over there. Come on, oil. Oh, oil. Yay! It does seem like there would be more... Did I already pick up... Maybe I already picked up everything else. Alright, well anyway, we've dealt with most of the grunts here, I think. We have... We've got a jar of that. Uh, got the jar, oh, sorry. Uh, and we have a hammer and chipper. I think that's everything. Just head on out. Watch any, watch for any Mr. Strut strutting their stuff. They do strut. Have you seen the way they move? There was some video in case you haven't seen it of a redneck drunk guy yelling at someone about strutting their ass. I don't I don't know. He used the drain sewers as a means of transport. Yes, they were built to divert water from an underground spring and are quite spacious. It seemed only natural to incorporate it into the overall structure. But we won't be using it. Not today. The flow is seasonal. And when the spring runs dry, the damp tunnels produce a rather poisonous type of fungi. There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come, this way instead. We're almost there. I'm so sorry, this is one of the worst parts yet, just because I was so unnerved I kept pausing to uh, check on other things. And by the time I unpaused, I keep forget. I, I rather, by the time I unpaused, I'd already done something else. Just because I, I forgot. Uh, so basically, what happened was I used the jar of acid and the hammer chipper on the uh, on, on cell door, and went to the cistern entrance after being chased by a grunt. Uh, then now we're in the cistern entrance, and we're about two thirds of the way through the game, I think. So yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, well, I'll see you in the next part, and I, I I'll try not to be so bad about pausing and such next time. Sorry. See you. Have fun.